this entire conference we've been having people writing questions and we thought we would uh, grab you after the presentation and get a few of them answered. And the first one came in and said, are there places that make sense, uh, to make more sense to store CO2 in this country than others as far as geologically yeah. speaking? Well, surely there's, there's different types of rocks that are just inappropriate for storing CO2. You've got igneous and metamorphic rocks which don't have permeability and porosity, which is necessary. You gotta have pore space for the CO2 to occupy in the formations. So most sedimentary rocks have good porosity and permeability, but a lot of the igneous and metamorphic rocks don't. So there's certain areas of the country where CO2 sequestration would be very easy to do, and other pro places where it would be problematic. Where's probably one of the easiest places? In the southeast, actually. In, in the southeast where you have thick sedimentary deposits, it's very, it's very easy to do. But in some of the mountainous regions, such as in North Carolina, where you have igneous and more metamorphic rocks and mountain ranges, you just don't have the appropriate rocks to do it. Okay. And then the other question we got in was, how long is it going to, how long is it, will it stay underground for CO2 to be, be able to be stored in? Well, there's natural analogs of natural deposits of CO2 that have been in the ground for 65 million years. So, I mean, some of these deposits have been there, oil and gas deposits have been there for hundreds of millions of years. So, I mean, if the right places are picked and selected, if proper site characterization is done and the geology is appropriate, it, it could be infinity, it could be forever. I mean, the, the, the formations have demonstrated over time that they can hold CO2 and oil and gas, so it, it could be actually forever. A long time. Yeah, very long time. <laughs> That's great.